6,000 Qantas workers will be axed as the flying kangaroo fights for survival. In the year it should be celebrating its centenary, CEO Alan Joyce has outlined a brutal plan to ensure the airline has a future. Just weeks ago, it was elbow bumps with cabin crew. Today, there was none of that. A deflated Alan Joyce telling 6,000 workers they're out of a job and many more are waiting in the wings. Separate to the 6,000 job losses, about 15,000 people will remain stood down for some time. People from whom we have no work. In a year when the flying kangaroo was supposed to be celebrating its centenary. But we've never experienced anything like this before. No one has. The airline is trying to survive through its biggest crisis in 100 years. It was hopeful last month, launching a campaign in anticipation of a return of interstate flights come July. I still call that hope short-lived. Qantas no longer home for 20% of its aviation family. In the firing line, 1,450 head office workers, 1,500 ground crew, including baggage handlers, 1,050 cabin crew, 630 engineers and 220 pilots. The clock is ticking also for the 15,000 staff relying on JobKeeper, which ends in September. The only consistent position for this government to take is to extend JobKeeper. Perth staff are most likely to be spared as long-haul crew are mainly based over east or internationally. But no overseas travel means no use for more than 100 aircraft for at least 12 months and the giant A380s will be grounded for years. The 747s are not required anymore. Older aircraft, they can be retired. Interestingly, the A380s are being parked for uh, three years. Alan Joyce's best estimate for international travel will be July 2021. Experts say the Perth to London leg will take off again, but not any time soon. I don't think there's going to be any international flights opening up to destinations where there's lots of virus cases at the moment. And no flights into WA as the state government tries to keep the virus out. Passenger numbers through Perth Airport are down 90%. April 2019 saw more than 360,000 people through the gates. This year it was only around 8,000. Interstate travellers more than half a million same month last year. But this April it was down to 14,500 visitors from other states. Add to that, travel within the state has dropped by more than half, which has forced the streamlining of operations at Perth Airport. There are only two terminals fully open, T4, which caters for Qantas, and here at T2 for fly-in, fly-out workers. It's pretty quiet here at the moment, but we know that FIFO flights are a driver of day-to-day -day activities for the airport, which just shows that WA's aviation industry is heavily reliant on mining to try and survive through this kind of crisis at this time. Time. Michael? Such a tough time for the industry. Tracy, thank you.